Hello, my name is Caitlin and I am here to give a no muss, no fuzz, no makeup, quick introduction to breast prostheses after a mastectomy. This video goes with an article that will be attached below in the comments in it wasn't what brought you to the video in the first place. There'll be a little bit more information there. So without further ado, within the article, you will see one community minded option for prosthetics after a breast cancer surgery, which is something called the knitted knocker. The knitted knocker either is a crochet or a knitting pattern. They're available in both with a nipple or without that you can make in different sizes, or you can make a customizable shell that can then be stuffed with just basic pillow fluff from your local hobby store, sewing store. They're incredibly lightweight. They're incredibly breathable. You can go up or down on size and certainly they contour pretty well to whatever lumps or bumps you might have on your chest wall. They usually cost less than 20 bucks to make. Some people do them for free and donate. So great option for just lightweight and simple. Actually, one of the bras I slide into the most often simply has a pair of knitted knockers that I keep tucked in them. I will even throw them through the laundry with the knitted knockers in place. I don't care because it's so much easier just to leave something stuffed in this bra. This bra does have a pocket for sliding in those prosthetics, but it's not specifically a mastectomy bra. And so the pocket isn't as big and it's kind of a hassle to slide things in and out. But this by itself can give very normal profile. Again, very lightweight. And what's inside of here again is a little bit of a knitted knocker with some padding in it and also just the kind of padding that comes in a lot of bras or that you can buy separately through Amazon or sewing companies for a couple of bucks. That just gives it a smooth outer profile in this case. My other cheater lightweight option that I do honestly isn't prosthetics at all. It's just a camisole that has the built-in cups. It's not intended for mastectomy, but it works for that. It's a shelf bra with this little built-in cup and I can just throw it on under a t-shirt and it will push out and give a normal profile or a normal drape to whatever I'm wearing over the top. The only problems I ever had with this were my children sometimes collapsing them in public because they found that entertaining when they were younger. So the next thing that I'll move on to is a stock prosthetic option. A stock prosthetic would be something that is preformed, sealed up. This one's silicone, which is a pretty standard material for them to be made out of. Some are also made out of foam or polyurethane, other options that make them lightweight. Uh, this one has an added feature in that it has a gel on the inside layer here. And that gel is meant to conform to a lumpy, bumpy, maybe less than completely even chest wall, which I certainly possess. So with these, again, I tend to just leave them stuffed in my mastectomy bra so I can grab the bra that goes with the, the outfit and the boobs are preloaded. But the pockets on these really are big enough to make it very easy to slide prosthetics in and out of. Next thing I'll mention is swim forms. So you can get prosthetics for swimming suits that are a little bit different than standard prosthetics. This one is a very inexpensive alternative that just comes through Amazon. Uh, it came from a company called Hip Playgirl and was $36 for the pair of them, which is certainly less expensive than most of the either stock or certainly custom options, though those are often covered through insurance, which is worth mentioning. Uh, this one I tried and it's really the kind of form that's going to give maybe your average person a boost in cup size. Uh, it's pretty thin. The plastic layer that holds the silicone in place on this one is definitely going to be easier to break uh, than something that is the higher quality stock option from a mastectomy company like this one is ABC, American Breast, Com American Breast Care. There's also Anita, Amina, True Life. There's several different companies that create those stock forms uh, as well as swim forms. But I just wanted an inexpensive option and it's what I'm wearing on this side. And as you may be able to tell, I'll help you out here, this gives just a little bit of a profile. Not a big one, because uh, it's only about, like I said, one cup size is worth, but in comparison to the other side, you can see where in actuality, I just have a bumpy section at the bottom, and then I go pretty darn concave. So it is enough to smooth me out and give me a normal profile in my bikini top or 
even a normal drape if I put something over the top. Now, there are swim forms that come from the specifically mastectomy apparel companies and brands as well. So this one is a bean bag option. This is my, uh, my beanie bag boob. And it is filled with little tiny soft squishy pellets that are hydrophobic so they won't, won't pull in water. They don't act like a sponge. They won't get heavier if you take them into the swimming pool. And this also is one that can just be slid inside of a swimming suit. Uh, there are multiple companies that do swimsuits. Uh, my favorite is Hapari. That's what this one is. Uh, just because they have a lot of color options and it's usually in tankinis. They're designed with a little bit of higher necks. But again, there are multiple swimsuits. Some of the mastectomy apparel shops will even keep swimsuits. And you'll see that I loaded it in one side here. So I've got one of my bean bags already tucked inside of this swimsuit so that when I put it on, again, I'm automatically to a, a normal profile and I just don't have to think about looking weird as I'm sitting along the poolside. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't. Now I have the option to care in an easy and convenient way. So that one also is one of the ones from ABC. But again, there are lots of different companies that will create different options. The last one I'm gonna to touch on is custom. That is an entirely different level. Uh, they are fabulous, especially if you don't have a flat, even chest wall, or if you've had one breast removed and you're looking to find something that's really, truly symmetrical to give you that even look where you don't have to think about it. Uh, they also come in options that are a little bit more lightweight and a little bit more breathable than the stock forms. And you will see that this one definitely also is meant to be color matched to skin tone. You can get them with uh, a nipple areola pattern on them as well. I chose just to have mine plain, but this will just slide into a normal bra, will blend into the skin tone, will be specifically created to fill in the concave parts and be less fill over the parts where you might have a little bit more substance there yourself. And that bra would just fit right over the top of it. I'm using it in the swimming suit example because that's what I'm in, but it gives a nice even profile. It covers for those dips and divots. Uh, you're not seeing a perfect fit in this case because I accidentally grabbed the wrong one, so I'm doing it on the wrong side of my chest for what this custom is. Uh, but again, couldn't be more comfortable. They move with you. You have several multiple options in terms of weight, breathability, nipple, no nipple, color, and they'll actually, in a mastectomy apparel shop, take a scan of your chest uh, to really make it completely fit well to your body. Uh, so you'll see that again, that it's custom to fit over my lumps and bumps. It's got some areas where it extends a little bit more. Those are where my hollow spots go out a little bit further. Crazy, crazy comfortable to wear. So that, in a nutshell, is different prosthetic options post mastectomy. Again, for more information, you can read the attached article. Uh, you can also find Beauty After Breast Cancer on Facebook. If you have any questions, if you post them, I will answer. Thanks so much. Hope that helped.